As you can see now, I have created each one of my buttons and I've put my subheadings in each one so that I can tell the difference. Now, the next thing that you need to do, insert a table, same way as you did when you created the original. And this will allow you to put the um, information uh, in different elements all over the page. So, for example, you can merge and split as you like. So maybe I wanted um, some text information here, I want an image there, and then I wanted um, a large image there and a bit of text there. It's up to you how you lay it out. Right, but that's editable. You can change that as you are creating your page. Okay, so we now need to go back to your template. All right, so before we didn't hyperlink these because we didn't have pages to hyperlink them to. So there's different ways that you can do that. You can either click on this browse button and we can browse. So I'm currently on uh, songs. So I'm in the HTML folder and I can click on songs and you can see it's now hyperlinked to songs. The other way to do it, if you click on this point to file, I can just drag that over to that HTML folder and it will link me to it. So I can do that. You can open this folder and I can drag that to gigs and I can drag that one to features. And now if I save, it will now update. So you want it to update all of them. So all of the different um, HTML pages now will have that link. So you can see now I have um, got my rollover buttons. So if I go to my main page now, you can see my HTML documents in there and I've got my index. So now if I run the index, my rollover buttons are working. And so are my hyperlinks to the different pages.